Hey friends, welcome back. And for those that don't know, this is Vanessa Makes Stuff. I like vegetables, I like to garden, but most importantly, I like to make stuff. Today, we are gonna be making garden labels. I recently planted a garden. I wrote down what I planted on the end of a plastic knife with a Sharpie and put it in the ground. It works, but it's not very cute. I'll show you what that looks like. Not cute at all. People are gonna come over, they're gonna be like, oh, I thought you made stuff, Vanessa. Um, I could have just scribbled something on a plastic fork and stuck that in the ground. In the crafting world, chalkboards seem to be all the rage these days. So I thought, wouldn't it be really cute to have little chalkboard labels for my garden? It's a really great idea, it sounds really cute. However, you're gonna water your garden, the chalk is just gonna go away and you're gonna have to keep replacing it. Like, oh, what did I plant there? I'm not really sure. So are those peas or the carrots? I don't know. I'm going to create labels that kind of look like the little chalkboard Board, but it's gonna be permanent and waterproof. It's gonna be a lot of fun, they're gonna be really cute, and they're simple to make, so anybody can do it. Let's get to labeling. To make garden labels, you're gonna need a few things. A hot glue gun and glue. Flat black spray paint, black craft sticks. They don't have to be black, you could use regular popsicle sticks and then just use the spray paint and spray them black. But I actually thought ahead this time. I know, I know, I actually planned this, you guys. I didn't just make this up as I go along. I planned it and I got the black ones already. Cause I'm a little lazy and I don't feel like spray painting everything, just the signs. A ton of mini wooden cutouts. Look at these. Each one is a little different. I think they were 99 cents at Michael's. They're really affordable, very easy, and really fun to decorate. A white Sharpie. Scissors and a trash bag. First step, we are going to cut the trash bag along the seams. Next, we're gonna take the labels off of these little wooden pieces. It's actually quite easy. This is probably the easiest label I have ever taken off of anything in my entire life. Look at this. Wow, right? Now that we have all of the stickers off, all the labels, we are going to lay them on the plastic. What? Hmm, you wanna help? She's trying to take it. No, we're not gonna put it down yet. We are gonna put them on the plastic and then we're gonna spray paint them black. No, that's not a treat. Let's go ahead and spray paint this black. <laughs> Looks like this so far. Now we wait an hour for it to dry. Our labels are dry, see? And we're gonna decorate it with the white pen. We are gonna take our label, we are gonna glue them to our craft sticks. Now that my sticks are all dry, I'm going to replace those plastic knives with these really cute decorative pieces. Let's do this. Labeling a garden is a great idea. Labeling people, hmm, not so much. One of my best friends actually told me the other day, she's like, you know what, Vanessa, it's so funny because when I first met you, I thought you were a And I'm like, oh, okay. And she's like, but I love you. I can't judge her too much because I know a lot of other Vanessas that are kind of, you know, a little kind of just how it is. So maybe you perceive Vanessa's, the name Vanessa to be that way. Because what we do is we label people and we're not even aware that we're doing it. We label people based on their name. We label people based on the type of clothes that they're wearing. We label people based on their hair color, on their religion, on the color of their skin, on what education level they have, where they went to school, how much money they make, what kind of job they have. They party a lot or if they're single or if they're married or if they're in a relationship or if they have kids or if they don't have kids. We tend to perceive people and we put these little labels on them like, oh, I'm gonna like this person because we share the same interest in basketball team. Or I'm gonna really like this person because we went to the same school together. Or we both were in Kappa Kappa Zeta, whatever. We label people all the time. I label people. It's something that our subconscious mind does. You walk in a room, there are certain names that I just associate people that were mean to me in my past and I associate that name with those people. So when someone has that name, that memory comes back. 
back. So it's it's like a learned action. And that's how stereotypes are formed through labeling, which is so funny because I have a really good friend that's gonna be visiting me in a couple of months. And we did not like each other at all. We had two different social circles in high school. We were both in the theater club. And I remember my mom was super late to pick me up. So I was sitting there waiting. His mom was late to pick him up. We both were just sitting opposite of each other, not talking to each other. We shared a very profound conversation. After that conversation, we became such good friends. If my mom would have been late, if his parents would have been late, it would have never happened. I feel so special being his friend and having that moment. If I would have just continued on thinking the way I thought or not giving this person a chance, I would have missed out on one of the greatest people in my life. It's important to not label. It's important to see past the superficial lining that we live our lives by day by day. It doesn't matter what they wear. It doesn't matter what school they went to. It doesn't matter their education level. None of this stuff matters. What matters is who they are inside and if they like to garden. Because if you like to garden, you're going to be a friend of mine. But if you don't like to garden, you'll still be a friend of mine. Let's go see what our garden looks like. I'm very excited to show you. Here's the finished product. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, especially since it's Super Tuesday. And there are so many other things you could be doing right now, like voting. That's kind of an important factor. You know, every Tuesday to me is pretty super. I make things every Tuesday. If you have an idea, if you want me to make something, leave a comment down below. There's a little place you can leave notes that says comment, and I will make it. Also, subscribe. Very simple. There's a little button. Just push it, and it's done. It's that simple. And then you'll also get notifications every time I make a new video. Yay! Bye-bye.